hey guys welcome back to my channel um for today's video it's to get ready with me but like i was super fast on because i'm already running late and i'm um, yeah basically i'm going on a trip to london today i'm meeting up with my friend and we're just gonna have like a good time um we're actually going to absolutely gonna butcher this name but like Perlo de popo or no um like branch restaurants we're going to one of those we're going to the other of a mario one in cover garden so that should be fun but yeah as you can see my brows are already done so i just it's one of those things i do off camera and it just works so much better off camera my botched edges as well if you can call them that so there's a mirror oh god okay but yeah <laughs> there's a mirror there so if i keep looking that way it's that's why also i only got six hours of sleep today um because i don't know but i was watching maze runner last night and um then we watched black widow for like the fifth time yeah so i haven't really got much sleep hence why i'm using concealer um what i want to talk about first this video is mainly for year 12s to be honest i wanted to kind of give advice on like year 12 because i'm going into year 13 which is crazy dude like i'm about to be 18 in a couple months it's crazy 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 would be best for you to do um, when you first come in, I don't know why words are not forming my mouth right now, but if you are new coming in, I definitely would try and make friends. A lot of people say like, don't worry about friends, but generally it's, I feel like you can, you can balance it. Yeah, definitely try and meet new people that, you know, make friends. Group or if you don't have a group, just enjoy your own company, find like, be good with yourselves because you could be spending a lot of time with yourself bear in mind and then um, year 12 because <laughs> um revision is a thing and you should do it don't be like me who um thought she was revising but um when the exams came rolled around what was it like june Jul july whatever it was um messed up and everyone oh my God, everyone says this but definitely start making notes for like the second the second you walk into that classroom the second you you sit down make notes because anything i'm absolutely anything from that second that you sit in the chair from the start of year 12 can be tested on and your end of the exam and it's so 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 important when you start making notes early and like um get used to that like note taking and like and also this is what i did i made notes in class my notes in class fabulous but i didn't like translate them into like a notebook which most people did so they're actually like readable and understandable i just assumed that it would just all just work in my head and, and that didn't happen so definitely like translate your notes into like a another notebook which is actually like more structured and like actually you can understand and advise from a bunch of scribbles and um rush notes isn't gonna cut it for a level <laughs> And a lot of people say like a bad in your social life because you're not having any. I'd say that that, which is what I'm gonna do for year thirteen. Like, <sighs> yeah. But for year twelve, I feel like if you know how to like you know what your limits are, like you know what times you know like, okay guys I've got to go study now, then it's fine. I just you just have to have that balance, otherwise you you will fail. Also what you need to realize is some people are just naturally like good at stuff and like although you may think that um they don't do any work or do any preparation or anything they're just like naturally good at the subject at a level that's like impossible like when i say at gcse yes i was like i was doing well i was like not really doing much you just can't do that at a level because it's just so much so don't whenever you look at some smart person and think oh they're just naturally smart it's not like you don't see all the work they put in you don't see if they get up at like six o'clock in the morning and doing tutorials or te their tutors it's scary but scare factors sometimes do work okay so i'm back and um i've done my eyes ish a level tips a level tips a level tips that literally took me like an hour i've completely forgot my whole track of thought and everything um i use lipstick yes um, it just works better than a um, liquid blush. My second last tip, I don't know, is to be consistent because if you are consistent, then 
you'll easily just be on track to like where you want to go or the A star or whatever. If you're always getting A stars, then they can't give you anything less than an A star. If you're always getting Bs, then they can't give you like more than you. Do you get, you get my logic kind of it? I'm trying to talk while getting ready. This is actually a lot harder than it seems. Yeah, consistency will be your friend because if you're consistent, then they have no choice to give you the grade that you've been consistent at. Just do it. Like, <sighs> Time goes so much slower when you work anyway, and everyone's always wanted to slow down time to so just work, you know, and use your freeze to either catch up on stuff you didn't understand. If you don't understand something in the classroom, say it. You're going to regret it later on when you're trying to do the homework or something, and you can't figure out how to do it, and you have to use, like, online resources, like, for maths. Oh my god, TL Maths, Lifesaver. Um, literally any YouTube on maths. Khan Academy, Lifesaver um yeah but that should be like last result or using those um those platforms to, like get ahead with your studies because you should be getting ahead and you should be reading ahead like all the teachers want to see is that you're passionate about your subject and you want like to get the best grade give them a reason to like give you the best grades you know